Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this morning, I bought my first file. I've been lasering for 11 years and Corel for 11 years, and I could have drawn this, but it would have taken me a lot longer than $7.95 worth for the file. So if you go to this, and I'm going to leave a link to her. This the lady's name is Sue May Scroll Saw Artist dot com and get her to send the file what you want in DXF and she's got a lot of files and patterns and you know wildlife word art uh, religion um, handy items clocks cats dogs but they are for scroll saw people so they're a little bit different scroll saw people and a lot of them are very 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 talented to cut out all these little lines but to get this ready for the laser engraver and make it engrave and cut like this it's a little bit of a process so I thought I would share it with you our cross today is less than eight inches so I'm going to make my nudge factor eight inches and it is a DXF file I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to move over eight inches and evidently I have to ungroup all or let's try ungrouping it again yep let's ungroup all this time take your outline and it's going to come into pieces but you need to just move it over because you need this outline and you need these little blocks and if you look real clear carefully there's some little pieces that are broken up of the lines. You need to make sure you get those. Then you can take this and weld it together and you're done with the outline. Then a couple of things you could do depending on what you want it to look like. I wanted mine to look like this. So I took my smart fill tool on black and no hairline and I just filled in all the little areas that I wanted filled in and some of these you really have to zoom in and I am not going to do the entire um, see that's that's pretty cool right there uh, you did all those at that time just by hitting that halo uh, we did the tree matter of fact this did it a lot quicker than I did it this morning for myself but then you have these little bitty hairlines and there's a couple well I filled in too, way too much I should have put a box around my scroll saw my pattern so it would not leak anywhere past and let's hit right there you see this is that's what I must have done. I must have just hit it too many times. So you're going to have to painstakingly go in there and and I'm not going to do the the whole the whole file, but I'm just going to give you some ideas. You want to fill in everything that has an enclosure, you know, that doesn't escape every little minute facet and even these little bitty ones. And I'm just guessing on those, but I guessed right. And a lot of times with your smart fill tool, you almost have to zoom in to make sure you're in there. I'm going to do just a few more. And really and truly, if you were doing this, but you would maybe get lost on which one you've done, uh, one thing you could do is, is fill in part of these and move them out of the way. But anyway, I think I've done enough for the video. You can kind of give the idea what it's going to look like. And the holes of the tree, the same thing. You don't want to do the tree. So the tree is going to be your natural wood, whatever, whatever you make it out of it. But anything that's got an enclosure where it's not going to leak. And you get the idea. And then the same thing on the crosses. There's a few, and I'm not going to ever say you're going to do this, but just kind of 
think about what you're doing and, and step back every once in a while and look at it and say, that looks pretty good. And then if you need to back up, you can back up. But here's the real key coming up. So I'm going to say I've done them all. And you could do a number of things. Probably the easiest thing to do would just, let me just get rid of this cross for a minute. I'm going to get rid of that for a minute. I get rid of our box. I'm going to go to edit, find, find object, begin a new search, fills, uniform fills, next, uniform color, black, next, find all, and it grouped them all. So now I can move those over out of the way for a minute. Then you could take all these, and these are hairlines, double click on there and change it to black, half a point, just to see what it looks like. And what it did, it turned all those hairline, hairlines into something that will not engrave. And then you can move this back, and then move this back over. And all I'm doing is hitting the arrow key, because my nudge factor did not change. So very quickly, you've changed all those. As a matter of fact, you could probably change them all to, you wouldn't have to go through that extra step. You could go and, and change the lines to non-hairlines and then go back and fill these in. And then you wouldn't have to do what I just did and move them around. Anyway, it's a pretty neat file. Uh, I ordered it this morning like at 5 o'clock in the morning and within 15, 20 minutes, I had it on my email. So, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.